entertainers in the building. Yeah. It's alright, already the show goes on all night. Till uh, the morning we dream so long. Anybody ever wonder when they were seen? My name is Kevin, and uh, I know this is not really the most ideal arrangement. I need to get better, um, a better location, so to say. But uh, welcome to my uh, political channel for YouTube. The reason why I'm starting this channel is because I'm getting into political science, and that's the degree I'm going to be majoring in. And I really care about the future of uh, not just my country, but all of our countries. And hopefully I will plan on um, getting into politics in the future. So I decided, well, what better way to start off getting support or just really talking about this stuff and really get an idea on my views than um, starting a political channel. So um, like I said before, forgive me for my uh, bad um, location. Maybe I can do something with this to kind of make it a bit more enjoyable to see. But for most, uh, I guess just look at my wonderful face for now. Um, so, the purpose of this channel is going to be um, for not just conservative viewers, um, but also any viewer in particular, maybe a liberal or uh, independent, so to say, moderate, whatever you want to call yourself. More than likely, liberals will not probably be on this channel because I myself am a conservative. Um, I am registered with the Republican Party. And just because I am registered with the Republican Party, don't think that, um, don't really necessarily think that I'm necessarily 100% for them. Because each party has some bad things to them. It's just that uh, I think that the Democrats have more bad than good. And um, they're party um, beliefs, I guess you would call it. So, um, really, I don't have much to talk about um, right off the bat. Well, actually, it's quite the opposite. I have too much to talk about. I can't really squeeze it all together in this one video. I guess I'll just start by, um, for a little bit, talking about me. I'm, uh, my name's Kevin, last name Stallings, for all of you that are interesting, interested. I don't know why y'all would be. But um, just throwing it out there, I guess. I am currently a senior. I'm about to graduate in June, early June 2013. After that, I will attend community college and I will transfer into a four-year university and um, get my bachelor's in uh, political science. I reside in the state of North Carolina, and I gotta say, um. I, I like it here, actually. That's probably where I'm going to start my political career, and uh, right here in North Carolina. Maybe one day become governor, maybe one day, you know, just in the House of Representatives or the Senate, you know. You can't really predict the future. Um, What else can I talk about? I'm a gamer. I like video games. I like, um, in particular... First person shooters and RTS, which is real time strategy. I think they, uh, video games have done a lot for me. They've helped educate me in um, numerous ways. They have taught me advanced vocabulary better than what I would say school has because <clears throat> I have a, uh, <coughs> pardon me, I have a, a learning disability. Well, had have it I'm pretty much overcame it by now but um it still kind of struggles um helps me struggle I guess you could call it in uh reading and writing but I had um in my younger years it was really bad off I could barely um write to a understandable you know stage of it I guess you would call it because all the teachers couldn't read my handwriting or nothing and um I read really slowly. In fact, I still read really slowly. But, um, yeah, back, I guess, I guess back on topic, I, I really, um, I do like political science a lot, and my main goal is to try and help as many people before I depart from this, um, this planet. So, I guess that's gonna, um, hopefully one day that'll come true. I really hope that um, I can get a lot of support here. 
I know that I may be a conservative, but that doesn't mean that I, um, I'm not willing to consult with any liberals. A lot of them, um, I do know quite a few actually, uh, quite a few actually go to my school. I'm actually related to some, uh, liberal slash independent slash, you know, conservative. I mean, you, you name it, it's out there in my family. We're, we're pretty diverse. And, um... The reasons why I'm conservative is because, I guess just because, not because of my parents. In fact, out of my um, family and my household, I'm the one that brought politics to my family. And out of all of us, I have one sister in my household. I have a half-brother. He's on his own, uh, living wise, but, uh... My dad, I'm I'm trying to think here. I think my dad's um, independent still. My mom is independent, leaning towards Republicans. And my sister is, um, I don't think she's registered, but I think she agrees with Democrats. And I, like I already said, I'm a Republican. So like I said, we're pretty diverse. And even it goes out to my cousins and my uncles. We're all pretty diverse. We even have uh, libertarians in my family. We have Republicans, Democrats, and so on. Um, let me check my time here. And we're, should be about six, a little bit over six minutes in. Um, now I guess on to, uh, the first subject. Um, I asked my friends and, uh, my girlfriend what I should, uh, talk about. And I know it's kind of early. Well, not really early to talk about, but I guess early to make jokes about, um, the Boston, uh, bombings. As a lot of you know it, um, I like to call it the Boston Massacre uh, 2.0 or the second Boston Massacre, but just because it has a nice little ring to it. What I'm, what I can say about it is, when it first happened, I automatically knew it was kind of a terrorist threat because just looking at the facts that we were already given, we knew that it was. Of course, bombings, of course, but if you looked at it, it wasn't, it didn't seem like really, um, someone going around tossing bombs or nothing, and if it was, then obviously we would have caught, and caught the person sooner. I haven't done so much research as, you know, how the bombs, you know, what exact type of bombs were, but to me, it seems like either they were time bombs that were, you know, meant to go off, or even if they were there... They obviously got them into a good enough position to where, you know, either a detonator or they were really good at, um, placing them and, uh, tossing them and then just running off. But I really think that they were time bomb if that information isn't already out there. If there is, you know, please provide a comment to a link or something because I haven't been able to find anything onto what type of bombs they were. I know they utilize hand grenades and pressure cookers. But, um, <clears throat> as I've heard from the media, but, uh, you can't really trust the media all too much nowadays. Um, also, back to the, my theory of knowing it was a terrorist threat, is that two bombs went off, and only, I think, like, three people got killed, and, like, over 140 injured or something like that, around those numbers, Bombs, I mean, if you got two bombs and you were going, you know, you have two bombs. Bombs, of course, we know, massive explosion, you know, have uh, shrapnel going everywhere. From a military perspective, because I guess another thing I can add to what I like is I love history. I love war history. And studying war history, in a war... I don't care what kind of treaties your country has signed or your views on anything. In a war, when you go to war, your goal is to kill as many other people in the enemy's army so that way you can overcome them by force. That is the idea of war. Pretty much over, you know, two groups, they collide. Whoever has the best group wins. Well, Obviously, groups have numbers, and, you know, whoever has the most numbers not necessarily is going to win, especially nowadays because we have technology, but my point is, is that 
if two bombs only took out three people but injured over 140, that doesn't seem like more of a attack to where, okay, we're going to put these bombs here and we're going to try to kill as many people as we can. It seems more of like a warning than a, an actual straight-out attack. So, and really, terrorists, I mean, if you think about it, they just want to, terrorism is just inflicting terror on people so that way they'll, you know, bend to their whatever it is, whether it's their religion or whether it's their government. So, to me, I would be, you know, if I was one of the individuals that was there and one of the unfortunates that got injured and I got, you know, one of my legs blown off, but I was still, you know, alive, I'd be more terrified than if I was dead because, you know, obviously I'd be dead. So... Terrorism also resorts into torture, which, of course, that's with the wounded, you know. Not having a leg, that's, like, something that's seriously going to be with them. Even if they did get a robotic leg, you have to go out through the rest of your life knowing, oh, I, I, this leg is not mine. You know, it's just, if one day, you know, pretty much without, you know, the technology that we had today, my leg would not be here because, you know, got blown off. My second, um, well, not really my second reason, but another reason that I thought it was terrorism is that just given the idea, okay, it was Patriot Day. That's too big of a, you know, no-brainer. Okay, it's Patriot Day. It's a day where, you know, people gather and it's supposed to, you know, we stand, you know, there for the United States, you know, print, you know patriotism. Well, terrorists don't really like patriots. Believe it or not. And I know it's not, you know, it wasn't, it's not known that it was anyone from uh, the Middle East, a terrorist group from the Middle East. And I know that they were Russian or something like that, but really think about it. These people are, I mean, the terrorists nowadays, they're not dumb, they're smart. If we start saying, okay, we're not going to check this one group then pretty much they're just going to go after that one group. Like, for example, if in airports we stop checking old, innocent, you know, grandparents, then obviously they would start going after grandparents that they could easily manipulate. Or say they start teaching adult, you know, they just get grandparents from their country, they send them on a flight, they're, you know, in a wheelchair or something, they have a bomb under their skirt or whatever. And... Really, I mean, we started targeting, okay, people from the Middle East. Who would expect a Russian to go on a massive killing spree? I know he was, you know, he may have been born here or he, they came here or, you know, there's a lot of controversies. I've heard so many people talk to, I've talked to so many people. So I've heard people, you know, show me proof that, um, that they came here. And that's why I'm pretty much sticking to it. I've also seen people say, nah, they were born here. So... Whatever it may be, to me it doesn't really matter if they were born here or not because the fact of the matter is they they came here and, I mean, whether they were born here or not, they can still get, you know, in touch with them because there's inside links. There's inside links, you know, pretty much everywhere. And that's my theory. I know we did kill one of them and the other one we have into custody. Right now, I was actually listening in to a police radio through the internet. And uh, I was extremely happy when I heard that they had him in custody. But only time will tell, I guess, see how much information we can get out of him to see if he was working with anyone. I think that uh, what happened was a tragedy. Of course I do. I wish it would have, you know, never have happened. And that's why I don't think we should be cutting our military like our current president is doing. Because I know we have the biggest military next to none. And But I kind of like that fact because it pretty much shows, okay, we have a huge military. That also shows the fact that, well... No one can, even if people team up, it's going to be a hard ride for them. Even if, let's say, China and Russia. That's why I'm also predicting is that that's probably going to be the next world wars between us and China and or Russia. But um, that, that'll be a topic for another day. It's about running up on 15 minutes. So um, 
thank you for watching. If you did stay this far to watch, I will try to put some maybe decorations, clear this out a little bit. I had to turn my closet into my study because it's really uh, chaotic in my room. People keep on walking in, so hopefully I can get some more privacy in here. But um, as always, um, this has been uh, Political Science 101, and uh, thank you for listening in. And as always, um,